guys, it's Queen Nisha, and in today's video, I will be reacting really to episode 36 of Healing Good Pretty Care. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I honestly don't remember what the hell um, is supposed to be happening in today's episode. I mean, I've been so busy today. I was gone all day today, and I literally just got back home like not too long ago, and now I've been binging everything so that I can get this all out by tomorrow. Oh, okay. Now I know what this is. This is the study party episode. Because he knows I didn't get about, like... Mm, she's right. So, Miss Kina, what'd you get? What did you get? Like a 30? Please tell me you didn't do something like freaking, you know, Usagi. Uh, 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 do you see that depressed? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I mean, think of it as that. I know, right? But we know she's gonna need to be comforted after this. I mean... Her friend's pretty. Okay, here's something that we're gonna talk about here. Right here, right now. At 10.30 at night. Okay, going into the next season of Pretty Cure, since it's all about makeup and stuff. I need to see at least one character... That is a gal. That is it. That will make me so freaking happy. I slowly but surely, because I am slowly but surely at the same time, even though I just said that, um, kind of getting into gal and stuff. A really more of one gal and how I like that style so freaking much because that suits me and everything. And your girl is starting to wear makeup again and shit like that because she likes to be pretty at times and shit. I'm just saying. But like, oof. Please. I'm begging you. Like, ugh. I just, I want it. I need it. You've done it in like other series, but it's really more in the background character. So we need a character who is a gal in the front burner. I mean, you've given me like best girl Yukari and best girl Yukari is still another character that I still see myself as, you know, bad bitch, smart, sophisticated, independent as fuck ish. That's what I want in myself and everything and just you know Yukari was Yukari and she's still one of my personal favorites besides um Hachan best girl Hachan and best girl Nadoka and Umi <laughs> I wonder how Umi's gonna be a play in this Of course, she had to go home and change. Looking like a deer in headlights on my yarn. What's up, Liz? Hmm. 
Eddie Cole. That was weird. Duh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Daddy. Hopefully we get to see him soon. Episode 36 and we haven't seen what the fuck not like. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, come on, don't be so dramatic. That's not going to happen. You'll be fine. You guys are pretty here. You're going to be best friends forever, no matter what. Yeah, so how in the world is Umi going to kind of be, like... Umi doesn't, hasn't really gone to school, so... I, I, I'm just, I'm wondering. How is she going to be able to help? <laughs> Hina. You can't always, like, study and play gotcha at the same time. You can only do one. Study first, then gotcha. Even if it's the limited card. Like, I swear to God, don't do that. You study first, and then you go out for that gotcha card. Especially if it's Rosalia. Or Kaede Takagaki. Or, like, any of your best girls. You go for them, but you study first. Hina? <laughs> Even, yeah, she, you look at it, you're like, what? <laughs> it, it's fine, you know, just being friendly, you know. 
I'm like a latte. Well, dang! Hold up, Dad. That is so mean. Exactly. Maybe point it out in the book? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. Honestly, Nadoka, that was a really good interpretation of it. And for her to remember it. True. You you went you were so good at the beginning, but you went completely left field. Oh my god, Hina. Dosta <laughs> Nani, like oh Exactly. I've stayed friends that, you know, gone to different schools. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Exactly. Or you call her. Uh. <laughs> I can't owe me. <laughs> It doesn't mean anything bad. I was about to ask, but I think we kind of got that answer.
You got this, Hina. Oh, damn it. Yes, you! Of course, but she still has you. And you got jealous. I'm almost done! I'm Yeah, it seems like we're getting the full transformation for her. Yeah, which makes sense. I mean, because her it, this is an episode focusing on her. true because it's been like how long has it been since y'all used this power I, I mean what ever since not only ever since they got their final power up but I almost ever since Umi came in and I ain't being mean because you know I still love Umi she's still one of my personal faves but I, I mean yeah, there, there were a couple episodes where they used this power up, but not as much as, you know, uh, I feel like, you know, this power up and Umi's final before their actual final final 
it was used equally, maybe, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Honestly, they all look good in their other outfits. Oh my god. I'm almost done! But you're supposed to balance it out. Oh my god. Oh, okay, thank god. in the background. Okay. Let me hurry up and get through this. To me, it just felt like Umi... Umi was in this episode, but not as much. This really focused mainly on the trio and not all four. And I'm not saying that to be mean. Umi was more like a background character for this. And that's not bad. I get the fact that they're doing that to make the other girls shine because Umi has gotten a lot of times where she has shined. A lot. Um, but, yeah. I mean, Hinata needed this. Chiyu needed this. And Nadoka needed this. They needed... We needed an episode where it really developed the relationship of these three girls that we've been with for such a long time before Umi came in. Even though Umi was doing her own thing with the mask guys and Latte, that's fine. I get it, but... <laughs> it it would have been nice if Umi kind of... She said some things. She was, like, more of a motherly figure in this episode. I mean, Umi has always been a motherly figure type character, but... Yeah. I don't know what else to really say about this. This was a good episode for... Hina because she needed this but oh god she almost had me in at the end where she was like yeah I, I'm not gonna study anymore and be like oh my god you, you did all this for nothing she tried 25 is not the best but you know still she tried It's interesting that we're getting an autumn episode when um, it's almost Christmas, but uh, whatever floats your boat, that's A. That's the answer, yes. But Okay. I, I mean, I love the fact that we're getting a major focus on the mascots. I mean, we when was the last episode we had an, uh, a focus on them, just for them? I can't remember. Not not really ex excluding last week's, the filler episode from last week, but I can't really think of anything else right now from the top of my head. But yeah, this is a good episode for Hina and her and Eiko, Eriko, are very nice together. I kind of wish we got to see a little bit more or at least from previous episodes to establish that connection a little bit more. I wish we got like a little more backstory on these two, except with this episode and this episode only but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode 36 of healing good pretty care if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next saturday sunday for episode 37 bye guys